how you doing folks? It's Adrian here again from Federation of Master Builders Ireland with another FMB TV bite size bit to help your business grow. Okay, um, I'm down to today in South Dublin. We're doing one of our business blueprint workshops and we're just nipped out on the, for, for a, a breakfast break. So I'm taking this opportunity to do a, a couple of quick, quick, um, quick videos that I've, um, I've been thinking about for a little while. And this one is on building your own professional network. Now, at, at um, a few days ago, I done a, a video on using BNI, and some feedback I've got from that is that a lot of people have told me that when they have tried to find um, a local network, either sometimes don't have um, a BNI chapter, and others that they've approached the seat that they were interested in on for their particular profession wasn't available because it's already occupied. And as you know, BNI have only a seat for one of each profession at the, at the table. So to, um, I suppose to, to, to help you um, to get around that problem, because there is an awful lot of value in BNI, um, you can form your own um, business network and what I mean by that is, it's not something you have to start off on a, a national scale. It's in your local town or in your, you know, the area that you're um, happy working in, you know, whether it's in a 20 mile radius or a 30 mile radius. You can build your own network of, of like-minded um, business owners, you know, non-competing business owners. So if you're a, a, a building contractor, you might want to um, form a network with um, an accountant, um, a local surveyor, an auctioneer, um, maybe a letting agent, um, architect, draftsperson, you know, different people who would have um, a value, you know, who, would, who you could give value to and you could also get value from because it's all about exchange of value and um, exchanging leads and, and trying to grow each other, help each other out to grow each other's business. So there's actually, there's a couple of, of reasons why there's value in doing things like that. Um, one being that you can get leads that you know access to leads that you otherwise wouldn't. Um, you're also locking out some of your competitors by building that network and building those relationships. And as well as that, if you're if if you're not familiar with the power of 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 a mastermind group, we run a lot of mastermind groups here in the FMB, and they are very very useful. It sounds like something that's only for for you know big business and and big bucks. But it's not, it's actually, the, the power of a mastermind is in, it's not in the money that people have at all, it's in the, the different um, perspectives that, that we would have in each other's business. And, you know, we're, we're all, if, if we're working in a trade, we're used to doing things in a particular way and seeing the world in a particular, through a you know, particular lens. And yet, if you know, other people from outside might say, you know, why do, you know, landscapers always work like this? Or why do electricians always operate their businesses like this? Would it not be better to you know, do X or do Y that it might make you more customer friendly or make you help you to grow your business or you know, could you not offer these services or could you not you know, refer business to such and such and they could do, they could help you out. So it's, it's all about you know, different perspectives. There's a great value in that. But it's the, 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 the reason for building your, your own informal um, business network would be to, to help refer business to each other and um, and to be in endorsed as well by um, by other professionals that you haven't got you know an, an immediate working relationship with. So that's it for today. Is that um, you know build your network. Um, think about it. It's not something that's difficult to do. You can have uh, you know invite a few business owners that you might you know your accountant, maybe your solicitor. Um, if you have uh, you know a sort of warm and and, and friendly relationship with them. Also with you know um, an architect or a surveyor that you that you respect, um, it's important that there is mutual respect in this. That they don't um, they're not people who are gonna you know, take advantage of you and, and only want to you know take 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 all the time. And the same goes for you that you have to. It's, it's any relationship will be about give and take. So just you know think about that in advance. And it's certainly it takes a little bit of effort to do, but you know nothing comes easy. You know it's it's like everything that we want in life that you have to put the effort in. You reap the rewards that you that you um, sow. That's it. Hope you've got some value in it. Talk to you soon.